Welcome, welcome everyone. Today we are starting a new series and it's all about the Java programming language. Uh, I haven't done these full tutorial series so it will be fun to try out a full language series on the Java programming language, a language that I personally specialize in. So yeah, we will get started. Um, in the next few videos, uh, I will be teaching you all about the Java programming language and how it works. And by the end of this video, I would say you are pretty good at Java. Now, don't take this as professional advice because there will not be any quizzes or tests as this is not a course. It's meant to be a tutorial and please don't use this as your interview uh, material. Please consult a professional for that. So without further ado, let's get started. So why would you want to learn Java? Now, some people have said that Java is becoming a dead language now that we are in the 21st century. But I'm going to say Java is by no means a dead language. Even though Python is catching up, Python is catching up, but Java still remains number one because the truth is, the truth is guys, Java is never meant to be popular it's not popular for you know the beginners so you aren't exposed to the language more but i'll tell you google facebook uh amazon they all use java in their servers they just don't tell you that so one might believe that java you know is isn't isn't a popular language but remember it still is and it will earn you a high salary um i believe it has still the most job projections based on programming languages of this year which is 2020 uh so learning java is very important and yeah so i want to teach you that and remember this tutorial series will only be on the language i will not teach you how to set up the ide because i feel like if i teach you to set up on a specific ide some other users may not know how so there are plenty of tutorials on their internet and uh, I really don't care what IDE you can use, you can use Notepad. As long as you have a Java compiler, you can get started on this uh, tutorial series. I personally will be using the Eclipse IDE because I have been using it for many years and I will continue to use it because it is very easy to use. But you guys can use anything, I'll teach you all about the language and object oriented programming. So yeah, let's just jump into it. So first of all, we are going to take a look at the most basic type of uh, pr Java program, which is the Hello World program. So let's go. So right now we are in Eclipse IDE here, and this is a Hello World program. Now this lesson isn't going to be that complicated. We are just going to talk about some basic things. And one of the basic things is this Hello World program. Uh, I again, I don't know what IDE you're using, but I would assume that you have a run button here. So I'm just gonna click run, and in the console, all it does is print hello world. Nothing, you know, nothing too serious. Except this is different from other languages. As you can see, there are many things that require to print this hello world. And no, it is not one liner. You can see it takes up to five or six lines if you don't count the spaces here. But I'm going to show you what all this means in a second. So let's start with the most basic, which is system.out.print line. Now this is not in because this is an L right here. So line, it, it extends to line. But since it's shortened, we do print line. Now I'll go over what print line means in a second, but so this whole thing here is responsible for printing hello world. Now what this is, if you notice, uh, this is actually a function. So don't worry about the public uh, static because we'll cover that in a later tutorial. But you can see that we have a return type, which is void. It's not returning anything. And the function's name has to be called main for this to work. Uh, let me just demonstrate here if we have another function, for example, void hello, and then we do this and then we make it print uh, system dot out dot print line and hi. If you can, if you see, if we never call this 
high function, it will only run main. So let's run this. And you can see that it prints hello world, but not high. So again, main is a special function. And I would suggest you take note of this format because this string args, this is also required for the main function to run. If we remove this, let's let's just remove this for a second. You'll see it will result in a compilation error. So let us run here, and then it'll just see. You see error main method not found. You must use string args. Why? Well, I'll tell you later in the tutorial. But it will all make sense, I promise. So we'll have to put this arguments back for the main functions to write. Now the main function has to be in lowercase, and it has to contain this. All right, so that's the main function. Don't worry if you're confused. I'm just telling you right now how to run a simple program. And now we're going to move on to some syntax. So Java has the use of semicolons. Semicolons must be placed anywhere that you have a statement. So in theory, we can all wrap this into one line. So instead, let's say we do a uh, Another print statement, we can do system.out.println. Uh, let's do hello there. So hello there, and then we will not do any semicolon. As you can see, it's already throwing an error. You have to say insert the semicolon. Nothing too serious, but um, if you do not put the semicolon there, it will cause you a lot of pain to find out where that semicolon lies. So this will print hello world, hello there in a separate line. Like so. This is why print line exists. Because we can also remove this ln function to print uh, not in a line, but in an extra thing. Actually, this wouldn't work because it will automatically print a line. But we'll talk about strings more later. But if you can see, this wouldn't print two things as a separate line. This will only print hello world and hello there squished. So you can see they're squished because they're not print line. Anyways, more on that later. So Java, uh, the Java Oracle guide states that all Java uh, projects have to contain packages and this source folder. So this is my Java tutorial series. I have a bunch of other projects here, but mostly we are going to work on this tutorial series. Now, depending on which IDE, again, I may not know which IDE you're using, just follow its instructions to create a project. You'll see that this is the Java runtime environment. This do not touch because this contains all the things you need for Java to work. Now, in here, we have the source folder. Now, make sure to name it SRC or else Java will get know it's the source folder. In here, we have this package called the tutorial. And in here, we have this thing called main.java. Now, I'll explain what the package is. So in this first line here, we have package tutorial. All we're doing is we're telling that this file belongs to this package. So if we rename this to package core, all we have to do is type package core. But of course, right now, you can see core is undefined because we don't have a package core. So let's go back to package tutorial. And... This main.java is your class. Now, don't worry about what class this is. It is the thing that says public class main. Now, if you do not know what class is, uh, just put it there for now. We'll talk about classes later. But your class name has to match with your file name. So if you type class high, let's do class high. You can see it'll throw an error because it'll say, high must be defined in its own file you have to rename this to high.java so we have to do class main other than that that's pretty simple it adds all um the you know packages and the project and the classes are so right now we can also do comments here so we can define some comments comments are pretty useful especially when communicating with other developers so comments just two uh two four slashes and then whatever you want to type so let's let's uh label this uh print hello world and hello there so the compiler will ignore the statement and it will do whatever you want it to do but if we remove this it will throw a bunch of errors because like it doesn't know what these symbols are 
So let's put black backslash. Now you can also make multi-line comments by doing a forward slash and a start. So that way it comments out everything. So we can just do that and it will say print hello world and print hello there. So that's a multi-line comment. Uh, and this is a single line comment. So that is basically it for today's tutorial. Very short and simple. You learn how the main function works, how to print some statements, and how the package and the file system of Java works. Next tutorial, we will get deeper and more serious into Java by talking about variables and data types. So again, next tutorial, we will be talking about variables and data types. And yeah, so that is today's tutorial. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.